Hey, this is Eric, Talladega Fiberglass. I'm here with the Kenworth Pet Car Suspension. It's a wide plate. You can come in here, can and uh, look at that wide plate. All you see there is just hang off those two bolts on your suspension. This truck is going to be a single single setup. So on these suspensions, you can actually hang two plates in the middle. That way you can have uh, a bracket for each individual fender. We haven't done the rear yet, so we'll get to that on the other side. What we do when we set them up, we always put the blocks on the tires. Give yourself a little room when you air down. And these are just to uh, put the fenders on so they level. And, uh, we'll get back to you a little bit when we uh, finish up the other side. It'll look like we got it done real quick for you. Back here with the KW Pat car suspension on the driver's side. Here's the finished bracket. You can see it's the horizontal pipe and the slotted plate. Just have a level with you. After you snug up the bolts, just make sure they're level and then tighten down all the way. And then here in the middle, I left one unpainted so maybe you can see it a little bit better. I don't know how well that black's showing up. And actually with this suspension, because it's got the 24-5 tires, and the regular singles, the fenders are actually going to be sitting on the pipe itself. If you put it on the inside, I just don't like how close it can get with the bolts and either the, uh, with the horizontal bar. Uh, same thing with this, you put a level on it each way, make sure they're level this way and individually, and go ahead and tighten them down, and you're good to go. And uh, once you get done with this, we'll show you the back, and I'll show you with the fenders mounted onto the brackets. And go. Right, back at the Kenworth, the rear fender. What we did here was uh, a solid bar all the way across. All you do is put that underneath the fender. And this one, you can see it's straight, straight down and one over at the bottom. Depending on what size fenders you have, what kind of holes you have in the back, you could be straight on, you could be behind it. That's pretty much the easiest one right here. We'll end up welding the gussets here to give it a little bit more strength. But pretty self-explanatory with the rears. We're back here with the Kenwork on the finished product. We can take a look at right here on the back bracket. We got it all bolted down. We'll go ahead and just show the middle building. Finished product.